So we can find all the different uh, angles and ratios on the, on the circle here, the special value ratio. So we can start off with our 30 degrees. Okay, so there's all these other markings are actually what we call radian measurements. So it's just another way to measure angles. But here in the green is 30 degrees, and the cosine value is going to be the horizontal, which is root 3 over 2, and the vertical is going to be 1 over 2, and that because, that's because this radius is 1. Okay, the radius is 1 here. So this is what we call a unit circle. And as we move to 45 degrees, Okay, it's going to be root 2 over 2 is going to be the length of the horizontal. Root 2 over 2 is the length of the vertical. Um, in lots of uh, other textbooks, and this is a rationalized denominator. So if you leave this as 1 over root 2, that's perfectly fine as well. So as we move to 60 degrees, notice that the horizontal and vertical switch for the, the, the 60 30 degrees compared to the 60 degrees, so the horizontal is now, uh, there we go, horizontal is now 1 half, and the vertical is now root 3 over 2, okay, and that's different, that's just the opposite way around for the 30 degree angle, so those two are related. And as we go to 90 degrees, the positioning of 90 degrees is important, it's going to be 0 for cos, or the horizontal, and 1 for sine, which is the vertical. Okay, so again, if we go to that angle here, it's symmetrical to this one here, so the root 3 over 2, which is our vertical height, okay, and, and also our sine value here is going to be the same. The x is just going to be opposite when we get to this point here. Okay, these are, again, the verticals are the same, but the horizontals are opposite, or the cosine values are opposite. And here we have the 30-60 triangle again, again, the same principle. As I move into the lower quadrants here, okay, so we can see that the horizontal and vertical are both negative. Okay, they're the same, they're basically directly opposite of that 30 degrees, so at the angle here is 210 degrees. Okay, we move to 225 degrees, okay, and again it's just going to be the same length and width. Okay, but it's going to be in the opposite direction to locate this position in quadrant 3. Okay, our 240 degrees here is going to be in that position. At 270 degrees, it's 0, 1. Negative 1 is our positioning. Okay, this is going to be 300 degrees, so it's related to the 30-60 triangle. Here we have the 45 degrees. Okay, it's 315 degrees related to the 45 degree triangle, and this is our 30-60 triangle again. Okay, and then as we go back to zero, the positioning is going to be 1 over 0 up on the radius 1 circle.